Today we're looking at the WWE Ultimate Edition Bobby Lashley figure, man. WWE Ultimate Edition Series 19 kicks off here. This is not the kickoff, Brad. We literally kicked off an hour ago. We reviewed the Ultimate Edition Kurt Angle. I have no idea what the hell you're talking about, but we are back today with Bobby Lashley, man. This is actually an installment of Bobby Lashley that uh, we, we've had a lot of his figures, man. We really have. We've had a lot of Bobby Lashley's. We had the Royal Rumble Elite, with the Elite 69, with the Elite 89, or maybe it's Elite 87 and then Elite 89. We've had a shish ton of Bob. Man, he's Elite 95. Had Elite 95 one with the Elite 103. Now we have McDonald's All American attire, Bobby Lashley, right here, man. I'm actually intrigued by this figure, but we're gonna dive into all the different things, man. But we are back here today, man. If you guys are already interested in this figure, I do believe it is in stock at Ringside Collectibles, so don't waste any time. Go over there, use code MD Toys. After watching the review, of course, go over to Ringside Collectibles, use code MD Toys to save yourselves 10%. But here's Bobby Lashley Ultimate Edition, looking pretty good. Got the championship in there, all the good stuff. Bobby Lashley across the top, WWE Ultimate Edition, Bobby Lashley on the god dang I knocked over my background. It's been a while. I think this might be the first time we've done this since we moved into the new house, but it's still so damn frustrating. At least it didn't knock over all the way. Old house, the whole damn thing would have imploded and I would have imploded my own face using a weapon of mass destruction. But here's Bobby Lashley, man, spinning it around. We do have Bobby Lashley here, Bobby Lashley there looking good and all the different Bobby Lashley things going on. Name on the side as always, just your standard mainline Bobby Lashley style packaging or ultimate edition style packaging, if you will. But nonetheless, man, we're gonna crack Bobby Lashley out of his packaging, find out what he's all about, put him on the rotating base, and see if Bobby Lashley is indeed a McDonald's All-American like this attire suggests that he is. So here's Bobby Lashley out of the packaging, man. I actually like this figure a lot of what I'm seeing so far, man. You know, I, I always, I, it's kind of a weird thing on the channel because I used to give Bobby Lashley a hard time. I used to call him Bobby Trashley, even though as a kid, I really enjoyed Bobby Lashley. Like, I loved him. I thought he was fantastic. I used to use him all the time in my season modes on, you know, on SmackDown vs. Raw. Like, enjoyed the hell out of him. I really did. I thought he was an awesome athlete. I just, it really enjoyed Bobby Lashley. And then when he came back to WWE and I was an adult, you know, I was like, you know, I called him Bobby Trashley because he couldn't really cut a promo, but he still an athletic monster freak. He's a freak physique. He's awesome. I actually like Bobby Lashley a lot. I think he's very toyetic, so I'm enjoying this figure a lot, man. I'm happy to have an ultimate edition of the guy, but nonetheless, you guys know how the reviews work. We're going to dive into the accessories of Bobby Lashley first, and then we'll run it back and take a closer look at Bobby Lashley himself. All right, guys, so getting into Bobby Lashley's accessories again, you know, we talk about it all the time with WWE Ultimate Editions. You're going to get interchangeable heads. You're going to get a championship, more than likely. You're going to get cloth goods, and you're going to get interchangeable hands. That's typically the baseline for your Ultimate Edition. And the baseline check is is here. He he passed the baseline check, and we're gonna do that in all the Ultimate Edition reviews. Do you pass the baseline check? And he does. He does pass the baseline check. He's got three interchangeable heads. He's got a U.S. title. He's got a cloth goods, and that's all in well and dandy. Now getting into our first head sculpt, this is the Elite 103 head sculpt. I'm pretty sure it's kind of like that smirking, non-expressional face. It looks like Bobby Lashley. I didn't have a problem with this head sculpt when we got it on Elite 103, and I think it looks good here. It's just a normal Bobby Lashley face, and this man doesn't age. It's crazy. It's crazy. You look at this guy at 20. He looks the same at 45. It's unbelievable, man. He is an absolute freak of nature. Next up, we have the same Bobby Lashley head sculpt we've seen so many times before. It's like the pissed off, like looking off slightly to the right. And I like this head sculpt as well. I think it looks like Bobby Lashley. So they do a good job on this one. We've seen this quite a few times. I think we've seen it three times now. It's like the Elite 87 or 89, the Elite 95, the top talents. It's a good head sculpt, and we see it here again in the Ultimate Edition. I don't have a problem with this head sculpt at all. Now we're talking a brand new sculpted head sculpt here, a screaming Bobby Lashley. This is absolute money. I don't think we've seen a screaming Bobby Lashley head sculpt since like R3 Tech Jax or like an old Jax figure. I know people used to use that old like Jax figure for, for custom Bobby Lashley's. They'd use that screaming head sculpt because it scaled pretty well with Mattel parts and stuff like that. And I think Deluxe probably made a screaming expression or at least a gritty head sculpt I'm sure. But this is damn good. It's got good likeness. It looks just like Bobby Lashley. I think they nailed it. So I like this Bobby Lashley head sculpt. This, this is phenomenal. You know I always say why is my figure yelling? I like when the figure's yelling when it's not the only option. So that's, that's how I approve this. We also get the modern WWE United States Championship. Now, this is the championship we saw with his Elite 103 figure, and it does have the Bobby Lashley side plates, so that's good. I like that they're incorporating the side plates into the mid-card titles and stuff like that, not just the main championship. So, I think a side plate, like, pack would be cool, like, including, like, the whole roster or something like that. I don't even know how they'd do that or what the model would look like, but maybe include, like, a bunch of championships and then have a bunch of side plates from, like, modern superstars or top superstars would be cool. But, yeah, the U.S. title looks good. We also 
have this nice classic looking almighty timeless Bobby Lashley t-shirt which I think is pretty good. It fits the figure well as well so that's really nice. It says the master of the Hurt Lock. It's got you know Bobby Lashley on there. This looks like one of those t-shirts like the style of this t-shirt looks like a t-shirt you would find like going on vacation or something like if you went to the damn you know you go to the beach and you go to the beach shop and then it's like it says Gulf Shores or Orange Beach or San Diego or whatever the hell you know, some, you know what I'm talking about It'd be like 2023 San Diego something like that. It's like a little you know like a little souvenir t-shirt is kind of what this looks like but it's got velcro on the back it's not velcro list but it fits the figure well and then for interchangeable hands we do get fisted hands the right hand does have the red tape on there with the red peg so that's pretty good there you, you guys already know you use the fist to beat the hell out of people we also get world going around mic holding hands that also have the red peg and red hand tape so that's good as well they that that's so important to have that peg in there so it doesn't break up the skin it really makes the figure look better and then the last but not least we do have the pointer fingers for his entrance and the right hand is taped and then the left one is not and of course this is to point at people and you guessed it, tell them to shut the hell up. All right, guys, so we're getting into Bobby Lashley, starting out with the head sculpt. Again, we covered the head sculpt. It is the Elite 103 head sculpt. It's a good, it's a good head sculpt. It's good. It's a good one. It looks just like Bobby. I don't have a problem with it. Now, going out of the torso, I know I've touched on it, man. I, I usually despise this torso. I really do. I usually do not like this torso whatsoever. But I got to say, for Bobby Lashley, he's probably one of the only guys that can pull it off. Like, maybe him and, like, two or three other guys. I don't think that this works for a lot of people. But Bobby Lashley is one of those guys that just has one of the best physiques you'll ever find on the planet. It is, is that, it is that true. The man is a specimen among boys, and so this this actually works well for him. You got the butterfly joints, and yeah, I know the ab crunch isn't the best, but at least it's tight, and the waist is tight, and all those different things, but yeah, I typically would not like this on any other characters, but he does have his arm tattoo right there, which they leave off a lot of the times. Like, his elite figures don't even have that, so I don't, it is nice to finally have that added. He does have this McDonald's-looking gear going on. He's got the red wrist tape, and then he has the red and yellow trunk, so the red and gold. And one thing that's interesting is this crotch piece is actually sculpted on here man like this cross hatch pattern the belt all of this is actually sculpted on there so it's kind of it's very similar to like a buddy murphy elite like back in the day i don't know if this is a new sculpt. i want to say this is a new sculpt but it may not be but it looks pretty good i like the graphics here you got like his entrance pose logo there and then on the other side it does say the almighty era which is very nice or the mcdonald's era or the golden arches era is what it should be because this literally like i want to get one of these customize it and put him in mcdonald's gear because that's just what now i'm eating mcdonald's today it's just that's that's the bottom line i'm absolutely eating mcdonald's McDonald's today. That's just how it goes. But he is pinless. It looks good with the red and gold. And then going down to the boots, we have seen these boots before on his elite figures, but the feet are actually from Ultimate Edition Cody Rhodes. These are Ultimate Edition Cody Rhodes feet. So they're a little bit bigger, but they look good. You know, I think they get the job done, even though they don't have the straps on there. They don't have the straps on there like they're supposed to, but they still, uh, I, I think they're fine. You know, it's not the biggest deal not to have the strap on there, but it would have been cool to get newly sculpted feet. But I think the Cody Rhodes Ultimate Edition feet do, uh, they accomplish it, but you do have like the red and yellow going back and fourth here on the boots for the straps. But yeah, McDonald's Bobby Lashley football. But when you stand back and look at this figure, it doesn't look bad with this torso, man. Especially when you get some Bobby Lashley comparisons in here and we look at it up next to the Elite torso. It looks just like it. And again, he can pull it off because he's Bobby freaking Lashley. So for your Bobby Lashley figure comparisons, this is just our long tights Elite's Bobby Lashley's. And all of these have double jointed arms that are pinless. So that just kind of tells you where we are in the Bobby Lashley lore. Like they have pumped a lot of them out, you know, and they're very similar. You have like black gears and yellows and reds in there. I really want to see the white gear. I know we're getting it in basic form, but I'd love to see a top talents elite or a mainline elite Bobby Lashley in white. The white and black gear would be fire, but now of course we do have the Bobby Lashley elite 69 figure and then we do have that Royal Rumble elite. I never found the Royal Rumble elite. That's actually a figure that has evaded me. I've never even seen that figure in person, I don't think. But this is just all of our long tights Bobby Lashley's. I think it's elite 89 Bobby Lashley, elite 95 Bobby Lashley, the top talents Bobby Lashley, and the elite 103 up next to the ultimate. And all these look good. And again, man, look at that elite torso. It just looks good man. It, it looks really good for Bobby. I really enjoy the Ultimate. I think that all of these fit pretty well. Of course, this ab crunch won't be as good as these, but these have, uh, you know, this Ultimate does have the butterfly joint, so that does work out for the Bobby Lashley, but these are awesome. I, I enjoy Bobby Lashley's figures. I like collecting them and having, like, a, a big array of those. It's awesome. Even if they are back-to-back, -back, he is a Toyota guy, and uh, I just want a different gear, man. I want new gear. Like, I, I would have preferred this to be in the white gear, but at least it's not, you know, another black gear. Since we have, like, two or three black gears, I would like to see, you know, the, the all-white gear or one of his more uh, colorful gears 
going forward for the Bobby Lashley figures. But I think that pretty much wraps up our WWE Ultimate Edition Bobby Lashley review. I gotta say, man, I uh, I really enjoy this figure a lot, and I, I actually like it a whole lot. This is this is a damn good football figure right here, man. I love the sculpt on the crotch piece, how they've, you know, they actually did sculpt the stuff on the crotch. Now, I don't know if it's a brand new sculpted crotch. I want to say it is because it has that new tooling and stuff like that. I would imagine it would probably have to be a brand new sculpt, but it's very reminiscent of the Buddy Murphy crotch piece, like I said. And so, you know, it, it's just, but at the same time, this figure is just a beast. I really like it, and you guys know that I don't like this torso option, but like I stated in my, my torso video where we talked about kind of like the worst thing about Ultimates and, you know, their, their biggest hindrance to them are their torsos and the ab crunch. I think Bobby Lashley is one of those guys that can get away with this torso because, you guys, if you look at his elites, I think they're like a perfect formula and representation for him because his physique is like one of the best in the world. It's a ridiculous physique. He has one of the best physiques in WWE history, so I think it really does translate well to his elites and his Ultimates. And I think he can get away with his torso. Batista, Ultimate Warrior, Bobby Lashley. That's about where the where the thing ends for me on this physique. Because Kurt Angle has never been this damn big as Bobby Lashley. You know what I'm saying? He's never been as big as Batista, as big as Ultimate Warrior. Even if that torso does work okay for Kurt Angle, I'm still money on that. You know, he's just never been that big. He's big. He's got great muscle tone and he, he's a beast. He's a great athlete and all these things, man. But he's never been that damn big. And so I think that this torso should be reserved for guys like that. Like Roman Reigns, still not as big or as muscular or as jacked as Bobby Lashley, Batista, or Ultimate Warrior. So that's just one of those things about that torso piece. But I can confirm that this torso does work for Bobby Lashley, and I like this figure a whole lot. I think it's awesome. You guys should go over to Ringside Collectibles, use promo code MDTOYS. I would say that this figure is going to probably fly under the radar. I bet this figure doesn't do as well as other figures, but people do tend to love Bobby Lashley. I see his figures flying off shelves all the time. It's not common that you'll find Bobby Lashley just, just hanging around pegs. So Bobby Lashley is a beast. I like this figure. It's solid. I, I definitely like this one a whole lot. And I think you guys are going to enjoy it. So definitely go grab it, man. But that is going to wrap up today's WWE Ultimate Edition review on Bobby Lashley. Again, tonight or later this afternoon, we do have Ringside Fest day number two. Should be great. And also, if you guys are interested tonight, I will be on a toy kind of mood. We're going to be doing a live stream talking about Ringside Fest and all the reveals. So if you guys are interested in something like that, definitely come check it out. I'll leave a link in the description below to the channel so you guys can come by and see what's up. If you guys want to check that out, but huge shout out to our Patreon members of the MDT YouTube channel. Always appreciate you fellas all the time for your continued support on the channel, man. Always love and appreciate every single one of you guys, so thank you so very much. I have zero issues giving you guys the shout outs every single day. But that is going to wrap up today's video, man. Thank you guys so very much for watching. Let me know your thoughts on the figure down below. Did you guys pick this one up? Are you waiting on it? Leave me all your thoughts down below. Follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok at My Damn Toys. I will see you guys in the next one. Have a blessed day, and I will catch you later. <laughs>